is going on guys your shredded brother from another mother and i just got done with the best upper chest workout of my entire life you guys are going to absolutely love this workout because i'm calling it the guaranteed gains upper chest workout and the reason why i can say that is i'm confident that this workout is going to put more activation and more overload directly on your upper chest than you've ever had before this upper chest workout is going to be 10 total sets i encourage you to take some notes Go through this in extreme detail. Dial in the X factors and the intensity techniques, and I guarantee you that you will see more results with this upper chest workout in eight weeks than you've seen in the last year with your upper chest. So if guaranteed upper chest gains sound good to you, give this video a big like right now, and let's dive into the workout. The first upper chest exercise is barbell incline bench press. Now, this may seem like a traditional movement, but most guys are doing this wrong. On the eccentric portion of all your compound lifts, especially on push movements, you want to focus on going down slow and controlled because this is going to create more healthy micro tears. As a natural lifter, you want to do everything in your power to create the maximum amount of micro tears from every single one of your workouts. So you want to go really heavy on the barbell incline while also going very slow and controlled. So if you're an ego lifter and you're bouncing it off your chest, you're probably going to have to go about 15 to 20% lighter on this version than how you normally do it. So I recommend you're gonna go three sets in the five to eight repetition range on the barbell incline. And the most important detail of this movement is, I want you to go a full three seconds on the way down of every single repetition. So you're literally counting in your head, one, two, three, you're lowering that bar slow and controlled right to your upper chest and you're exploding up. So three sets in the five to eight rep range and then you're gonna do a fourth finishing set where you are gonna go 20 repetitions, maximum time under tension. So you're not resting at the top, you're not resting at the bottom, you're keeping that upper chest under tension for the fourth set for a full 20 repetitions. And then right when you get done with that high rep set, I want you to force more blood right into that upper chest. I want you to go low to high isometric chest flexes. Um, you can go each side for a nice hold for about 15 to 20 seconds and your upper chest is going to be on fire. second exercise is going to be dumbbell pull over and we're going to utilize an intensity technique called a mirror rep drop set now what that means is we're going to go eight to ten reps until failure with a heavy weight we're going to drop the weight 30 percent you're immediately going to go into another eight to ten reps so pay very close attention to your form on this exercise because if you extend your range of motion too far back as you extend on the eccentric portion you're going to hit more lats we want to shorten our range of motion really focus on the upper chest. So focus on squeezing that upper chest on the concentric portion of every single repetition. So you're gonna get a nice mind-muscle connection, go slow and controlled, and really focus on squeezing and activating. You're gonna drop that weight 30%. You're gonna do another eight to 10 reps. And this one is absolutely brutal. So I want you to go three total mirror up drop sets, resting 90 seconds between. And once again, on the third and final set, do some isometric chest flexes where you're really focusing on squeezing. Put your finger where your upper chest is and really focus on squeezing and pumping blood with an isometric hold immediately after your set. Next up, we are gonna focus on maximum time under tension. Really dial in that metabolic stress right on the upper chest. So we're gonna start off doing a T30 superset. That means 30 seconds time under tension. We're no longer lifting heavy and counting reps. We're focusing on time under tension. So the dumbbell low to high is a very unique movement. Really focus on activating your upper chest as you lift those dumbbells from a low to high position. Remember, if you've seen my other videos, uh, pressing from high to low is gonna be more lower mid chest. Going from low to high is the best way to activate our upper chest. So we're squeezing our chest, really focusing on that upper pec activation, lifting those dumbbells from a low to high position, and we're going 30 seconds time under tension. In the second portion of the T30 superset, you're gonna use those same dumbbells, and you're gonna get into dumbbell around the world. Now, this is a very unique motion. Really focus mm -hmm. on that swooping from low to high position to activate the upper chest. So if you do this right, you're gonna feel extreme activation in your upper chest. You can just see my upper chest working overtime. You can see the extra activation on this movement compared to most other traditional pressing movements. So once again, I want you to go 30 seconds time under tension. And then last but not least, you're gonna get into one finisher to end the workout. I want you to go 
Incline push-ups, I want you to squeeze a bench together, like almost like you're trying to bend a bench. And as you do that, I want you to really focus on going up and down and focus your mind-muscle connection on your upper chest. So literally rep out as many push-ups as you can using this form. And then right when you're done, I want you to focus on isometric chest flexes one more time, just pumping blood right into that upper chest. I created the balloon method because I know how frustrating it is to hit a plateau and to go in the gym and not see fast results. So of course the balloon method is gonna dial in all the intensity factors, it's gonna guarantee you results, but it also keeps things really interesting and gives you a ton of different variety and routines in the gym. So I really hope you enjoy these workouts. Uh, definitely let me know your comments on the balloon method down below, but don't leave yet because we have a really fun giveaway for today. And before I announce today's giveaway, I wanna congratulate Clint Grimes on the last video's giveaway. So Clint is winning a tub of Goatine Vein Pop and Vanilla. And for today's giveaway, Halloween is right around the corner. I wanna give one person, um, superhuman Krieger Kiwi Berry. So this was actually a flavor from Halloween last year. So we had a limited edition pre-workout called Freddy Juice and Krieger Kiwi Berry was the flavor name. So I wanna get you guys in on Halloween and in on the fun this year. So comment down below, um, any idea, looking for some creative ideas for our Halloween pre-workout name. It could be a product name or a flavor name. If I choose any one of the two to be the winner, you're gonna win $250 cash, and you're also gonna win, of course, a tub of our Halloween limited edition pre-workout. So um, last year was Freddy Juice Krieger Kiwi Berry flavor. That's a uh, Kiwi Blueberry flavor. So comment down below any creative Halloween product ideas you have. I'm gonna be uploading results of training shoulders every single day for 14 straight days tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. Eastern. So make sure you subscribe, tap that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next video.